for Petters post game. Dingley, again, Premiers of the SFNL, and I'm joined by the super coach Shane Morwood. Mate, your side, they are incredible. Must be so super proud of them. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a, a super season, but certainly after the, uh, was it the second semi final against Child here 14 days ago, uh, there's probably question marks. Not only on us in the, yep. as, a, as a group, but certainly from other people within the competition. Think, shit, what happened there? Like, you know, Cheltenham are a good, very good team, don't get me wrong. Absolutely. But are they that good? Um, and the only way to actually answer that is to get back here 14 days later and have another crack at them. And that's what's happened. It looks like our cup's broken already. Is it, Pup? Uh, Bear? Is that broken? No, nah, it's just a lid. Oh. They, they got a lid on them this year, which is a nice change from the previous. It's a nicer looking cup than previous years. I thought it looked a bit different, yeah. So, but you know, cups a cup, and we'll take any we can get. So, but that's all right. Thanks, Bear. So that's all right. Premiers again. Looks good, doesn't it? You're gonna have to. How big's your trophy cabinet? I reckon you're gonna have to build a build a bigger one. No, it might it might cost the club a bit of money to get a bigger <laughs> cabinet to put it in. So, Rory Goldsmith, have a look at him, the legend. <laughs> <Yeah, mate. laughs> but happy boys, aren't they? Oh, yeah, you are when you win these. And I think certainly the way they um, not only approached the game, but the way they actually played for the 100 minutes was just incredible. So they should be proud of it. They'll, they'll be sore, but you don't feel the pain right now because they're, they're just pumped with adrenaline and excitement. So, And, you know, you talk about I'm proud of them. They're, they're proud of themselves and, and proud of their teammates. So, yep. And just a super effort right across the whole board, really. Absolutely, and uh, and so they should be. Now, we've uh, spoken about the trophy cabinet, but uh, let's talk about you for a second. You've uh, famously got a lovely Dingley tattoo on you. Um, tell us the story behind that, first of all. Well, it actually came about in 2016. It was the it was the week leading into the grand final, and we are playing Bentley. And the boys were stretching in the, in the change rooms, and I assume it was the last night, so it must have been a Friday night. And... Uh, and they were talking the usual crap as such. And then somebody mentioned a tattoo. And I was about to walk out. And they said, oh, Morph, you won't get a tattoo. I go, so I walked back over him. And it was, it was Hodgie, Chrissy Milne. And I said, mate, you guys win the flag. I'll get a tattoo. So we shook. So all the boys went, ah, yeah, Morph's going to get a tattoo if we win. Anyway, so we won. But we tried for months to organise. There was about four of us. There was, there was Fergs, there was Hodgie, and Dogger, Ryan Stewart, who, who played that year. And, uh, but we never got it done. So anyway, 2017 came, came around and uh, same time, I said, righto, if we win, definitely we're going to get the tap this time. I said, yep, no worries. So, uh, and obviously we won. So I thought, well, will stuff trying to bloody organise the boys because they're hopeless. Uh, Natalie and I, my wife and I, went over to, to the States because I've got a younger brother that lives at, uh, in Denver. Anyway, we're in LA and so Nat said, well, there's a tattoo parlour here in LA. Well, let's, let's book it in. So I did it. So it was... Um, yeah, I'll show you. It's the obviously the Dingley emblem, and um, it's got uh, three peat. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, 15, 16, and 17. Whether you can see it or not. So the boys are pretty impressed because of the size of it. It was five hours of torture, let me tell you. And um, anyway, so the the word was, well, what if we win it again the next year? And I go, well, if, well, if we do, I'll have to go. Oops, I did it again and put 2018. Didn't quite happen last year, obviously, but. Here we are again, 2019. So uh, the boys are saying, well, you, you need to put 2019 on it. So I'll work out exactly what I put on it. It may be that because it's what I said you know, 18 months ago or more. So, um, so that's that's how it came about. You're a man of your word, Morph, and uh, yeah, looking looking forward to seeing what you do with that. Uh, but what's on the cards for for next year? You're going around again. I know you're you're fond of the one year deal. So uh, one year's good. One year deals are good. So um, I'll let Brooksy you know over the next uh, few days or so. Like last year, I didn't let him know to. The day before I went to Bali, and coincidentally, I'm going to Bali on Tuesday. Actually, usually it was just a week later. But um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let him know a few, a few days time. It's, I mean, it's a big commitment. It's been nine years, and I coached the under 17s the year before that. So it's been 10 years of coaching. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I mean, Natalie and I have been speaking about it for a while. So yeah. I was going to make up my mind and, and let him know. So um, yeah, if it is the end, great. If it's not, we'll go around one more year and yep. see how we go. Oh, you can sort that out in the uh, coming days, but for for now, you've got a premiership to uh, to celebrate, and you've earned the right. So, uh, mate, it's been a phenomenal couple of years for the uh, Dingley Footy Netball Club, and no doubt that uh, it'll be a big night down there at the Den for sure. Yeah, I, I think too. Though, yeah, having having all three uh, grades in as such, 19s reserves, seniors, and and the, and reserves winning, which was just awesome. Matty Benton has never won one in his life as a coach or a player, so uh, it's just so happy for him. He, yeah. Uh, he's actually going to Bali as well, same time as us. And uh, not together. 
uh, same flight. There you go. Same flight, so uh, we'll catch up with him there, and um, I'm sure he'll have a fair few to drinks because he drinks a lot, lot more than me. <laughs> I don't think he'll even go home tonight. I think he'll be, I don't know where he'll end up. He probably doesn't even know where he'll end up, but he won't remember where he ends up. Um, oh, as long as he gets... It's great to see that because, you know, as I said in there, it's, this is a total club um, success, uh, it's a total club commitment, and so, you know, we feel it, we all feel it when we win and we all feel it when we lose. So, um, to see everyone enjoying it and it's, you know, I stood back there, you know, before I had a few words to the boys, to stand with my wife and daughter and say, this is, this is the time I like because I can sit back and just watch and see the joy on people's faces and that's, that's priceless. It's worth more than gold. Absolutely, mate. And that's, uh, they're wonderful words from uh, one of the great coaches of, uh, of local footy, mate. Congratulations on another premiership victory. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely stoked for you blokes and uh, go and enjoy it, mate. Congratulations again. Thanks very much, Will. Thanks for all your support as well, mate. You coming back to beer for a beer? I could possibly have my arm twisted. Come on, come on down, buddy. Righto, mate. I'll see you later on. Get your game face on.